Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to talk about Total Segmentator, a tool that has completely changed image segmentation over the past couple of years. It has made almost all of my previous video on segmentation totally obsolete, but in a good way, because until now, segmentation in 3D Slicer required a lot of manual work. Even with semi-automatic tools, there was always some tweaking and corrections to do, but now everything is going to be a lot different. It's an AI tool available since 2022 that allows fully automated segmentation of more than 100 anatomical structures from a simple CT scan. You can now segment organs, bones, muscle, blood vessels in just a few clicks. It was created by Jacob Wassersal and his team at the Institute of Computational Biomedicine in Germany. The project is uh, open source, which means it's constantly improving thanks to the contribution from the scientific and medical communities. If you're interested in the details, I will leave the, the link to the paper uh, in the description of the video. Let's talk a little bit about hardware. While Total Segmentator is amazing, it's also quite demanding in terms of computing power. And to get the best results, I strongly recommend using a powerful CPU and GPU. If you're working on a laptop with a non-processor, the segmentation can uh, take a very long time. Ideally, you want a multi-core CPU and a dedicated GPU. Uh, personally, I use an RTX 4090 and with uh, this GPU, Total Segmentator runs extremely fast. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Total Segmentator. It's very simple and how to use it step by step in 3D Slicer. And uh, maybe we will discuss about some real life application for surgery and medical research. So let's get started. The installation of Total Segmentator is very simple. You just need to go into the extension manager here or in view extension manager click on install extensions you will go all the way down and find total segmentator click install and restart 3d slicer once it's done you need to load a ct scan go into modules segmentation and total segmentator you need to check the input volume the segmentation task usually i just go for total but it depends uh, it depends on the, what you need to do you can click fast if your computer is slow but uh, the result uh, risks to be less accurate and in outputs you can uh, create a new segmentation as total segmentator for example and you just need to click apply and uh, let the, the software run to give you an idea of how fast this is, I'm going to make myself a coffee uh, while the software runs. Once it's finished, you can click on Show 3D. Click here to center the view. Go into Segment Editor. Choose Total Segmentator. And you can improve the, vis the visibility by increasing the smoothing factor. And just like that, in a few minutes, we get a complete segmentation of a lot of anatomical structures. Everything is labeled and ready to use. However, since there is a large number of segments, 
it may be useful to create additional segmentation to classify them, for example, abdomen, thorax, bones, and muscle. So I'm going to show you how to do this. You go in the segmentation module and you can uh, use copy and move segments. Oops. Um, I will select total segmentator segmentation. I will create a new segmentation as I will call it bones and muscles. And now I select all the bone and the muscles from sacrum to the six vertebra. I will move them into bones and muscles. Minerus, hips. Spinal cord, gluteus maximus, and the rest of the ribs. Okay. Now I will create um, thorax. Okay, and the rest is uh, the abdomen. And we can go back in segment editor. And now you can hide uh, this segmentation, move to uh, bones and muscle, hide it, and move in thorax. And now you have uh, the thoracic structures. If you hide it and you go back in bones and muscle, you can display them. Okay, no, I have it all. And uh, so it's, uh, I think it's practical to, to classify uh, uh, all, the, all the segmentation. In upcoming video, we are going to focus on practical cases, uh, particularly in visceral and digestive surgery. We will also discuss uh, blood vessels in more details, uh, as this is something that uh, Total Segmentators does not yet handle very well, at least for now. This is likely due to the extreme anatomical variations, which uh, makes it uh, significantly more challenging for uh, the software. So feel free to leave and comment and uh, let me know what topics you'd like me to cover in future video. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the, in the next video.